like, like I said, Filipino Americans here. There's a lot of Filipino. There's a lot of titas in the audience. There's some titas right here in the front, right? And I've always, how many, how many Filipino Americans? How many, how many people who were born here in Chicago can speak Tagalog fluently? Make some noise. Nice. I cannot. I cannot. Because the logic of Tagalog, when you translate it into English, kind of like messes you in your brain. You know what I mean? Like, like the Filipino titas here, they always say one of two phrases. And I'm gonna take a poll since I have a lot of Filipinos in the audience. I wanna, I wanna make a, take, a, take a scientific poll as to which one, which phrase is said more often. Okay, because some titas, if they're upset or they're, you know, disgusted with something or, they're, or maybe they're mad at somebody, they'll say, Ay, poke ng kabayo. <laughs> These ladies are fighting in the front. This guy, he said, I said that too. <laughs> right? But then some titas, they say, Ay, pokin ang baboy. <laughs> now for the non-Tagalog speakers in the house, and you'll understand when I translate for you why Tagalog is illogical in my head. Because I don't understand what would make someone or inspire someone to say, horse vagina. <laughs> or pig vagina <laughs> when they're upset. It's hard for me to comprehend. What's going on world? It's your boy, Kuya P. This is the NR Dub Nerds. Rule the world back with another show, pal show. So of course, you have to have the Adobro, the Babinka boy, the leader of the holla holla homies in the center, gang gang. Yours truly, Kuya P. And man, today I'm super excited. Uh, first off, I almost forgot. Much love to the amazing Ates. Um, I might have to get some new Ates or some uncles. And I think I want to have this particular cat, if he's ever available, be uh, one of the uncles to help me talk to the people. Because uh, the Ates have just been busy. If you've been tuning in, uh, we haven't done it in a while. I'm trying to get it back going. Um, the Ates will always still be involved, but I'm, I'm trying to make it work with their schedules. But if it doesn't, uh, I'd like to have this particular uncle come through, this pare come through, and uh, some other ates. Uh, but let me stop delaying. Let me bring him in. I've been, uh, we've had him on before. He's dope. Uh, you so you you seen him on everything, man. And now on YouTube, uh, he's got a brand new special talking about miscellaneous brown. Let me unpin him, Mister Eric Esteban in the house. <laughs> it's in post, Eric. What I don't want to definitely. What up, what up, bro? How you doing, man? Hey man, I'm excited Louis to P, see you, bro. bro. I'm, I'm so happy to be back again, and 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 I'm so happy to be back to talk about my special with you. You know, you, you've been you've been such an integral part of my journey. So I'm I'm just happy. You're, you're my brother, man. So I'm just happy to be here. And 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 if if that offer is 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 something that I was thinking about in your intro, bro. Whenever you need and whenever you want, I am open and ready to be one of the uncles. Let's go. Uh, okay, for real. I'm I'm ready. Look at look. I even got my background. <laughs> it's all set up. I got you all set up. Do you see this? I add some more pops in this thing, and in the background, I got some Predator toys. Still got the Bruce Lee and the Manny Pacquiao. I'm, I'm, I'm ready, bro. I'm ready to, I'm ready to be Kuya P Jr. Hey, no, nah, West man. Coast, nah, fam, fam, <laughs> all the way through. Kuya P and Kuya E about to be in this piece. We, we gonna rock. Hell it. yeah. Uh, we'll talk offline because right now I want to highlight you, but uh, bro, ain't nothing but a thing, and uh, I'll hit you up about that. But right uh, since we last talked, man. Uh, I, I kind of felt like I was in a twilight zone in a way when I heard that this miscellaneous brown special dropped because you've been miscellaneous brown for forever. That was the moniker. And, that was, that, uh, that's been one of my oldest jokes. But man. I also knew when it happened because what ended up happening, like maybe I think like, like a year or a year or two ago, Jeff Chang quoted me in one of his articles and everybody went and, and the, the clip went viral again and went... 40 50 thousand views i mean viral in my in my numbers because viral to most people is like you know hundred thousand three thousand i'm happy when it hits ten thousand twenty fifty thousand i'm 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 ecstatic really oh, yeah. um so yeah so that and then I, and then i kind of knew 
And then I had the logo designed by my boy Tim Seginson, who also did, who also I worked with, with, with all the mini Pacquiao stuff. So he he designed this logo for me. And then, you know, it was kind of off to the races because um, four by three productions, I got to shout out them, uh, a, a small independent, independent uh, uh, pr- production company, four guys out of Cincinnati, Ohio. And they are prolific when it comes to producing comedy specials. I mean, they, there were four of them. They they kind of descended upon the Lincoln Lodge, and it, you you wouldn't even have saw them. They were like ninjas. And then you shot it, and 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 then when you when you see the special, it's amazing. It's shot like a movie. It's really cool. And uh and they captured everything up up to and including the energy of the standing ovation at the end, which was a first for me. I was a, I was tripping out when I got a standing ovation at the end. It was a uh I, I, almost a lump in my throat, fighting back tears. But at the same time, it was almost like a weird like i don't know it, 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 i said it at the beginning of the special it's like yes it's a dream come true and all this other stuff and i'm i, I, I had all, all these emotions rushing but at the end of the day man it's just hard work pays off you know the grind pays off and eventually you know hopefully people will watch it and they enjoy it and if it, if that's the case then it really does pay off love it love it okay and I, congrats again bro I love that. Uh, so proud of, for for you, man. Um, so basically, the 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 germ, the seed started with this clip getting viral again. To then kick it off to go like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this act on wax, set this this whole special up, and, and get going. Because the reason I was feeling like Twilight Zone, uh, like the miscellaneous brown moniker, but like I thought you all like already had one. If if I'm not mistaken, or if I'm just living in a world where. Man, I got I no. I had this I had, I had a I had a I had a, a a political series called Miscellaneous and Brown. Okay, yeah, I, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm milking the shit out of this term, bro. <laughs> I'm milking it as long as I can. I'm milking it. No, but um, Miscellaneous Brown was like the first nickname, and it also kind of like the first joke. And then Jeff Chang quoted it in an article. But then also, really, what set this whole special off was four by three hitting me on the DMs. Okay, and because they and caught they, it, and they're like, "Yo, they were they." I think they caught that, or they caught maybe my laugh after dark clip that had gone the Ewok joke that had gone kind of viral, or something. I'm not sure what it was, but I know that I was in Chicago in December of last year, and I was in town doing two shows, and you know. My best friend was there. Some 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 real good friends were there, but it wasn't a lot of people, and and I was kind of disheartened actually by the trip, and I thought you know it wasn't a success, but unbeknownst to me, there was some people paying attention because four by three reached out like the week after I got back from Chicago in December of last year, and then they were like, "Can you come back at the end of January, produce a show for us, and we'll and." you know, get an audience and we'll shoot your one hour special. I'm like, what? For real? Are you serious? Y'all don't want me to wear your jewelry or something? This is some, this ain't some kind of jewelry scam. You know, that's what I thought it was. And then they, and then they're like, send us your email. So I sent the email and then they sent me a contract. I sent it to my agent. He read it. And I remember my agent said, he's like, I've signed better deals. I've signed worse deals with Warner brothers. Go ahead and sign it, buddy. And so I signed it. And and it was like it's a 50-50 split between the two of us. They're trying to get it on Tubi now, but right now it's on YouTube. And you know, I'm like it's it's the the whole market has changed because now before you didn't want to release it on YouTube. You wanted it to stay and in, in, in the can and have somebody buy it. But now you want it to go viral on YouTube because then other people will pick it up because they know that it'll get views on their on their on their channel. So uh, if you're watching this. Stop, pause this, pause this and, and and Google miscellaneous brown on your YouTube and it'll be come right up. It'll be the first thing, miscellaneous brown, because it's the only thing called miscellaneous brown. I'm about to trademark that bitch, so just watch out. But Google it, watch it all the way through, hit repeat, walk away, and then hit repeat again once it's done through it. Keep doing that all day, through the whole day. <laughs> until we hit a million that's that that's really my goal for the rest of the years to really just promote the heck out of this special and get as many people's eyes on it and and then you know hopefully go on tour hit you get 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 go to washington dc and hang out in person hell yeah 
let me just again echo the emphasis of what Eric Esteban is saying right now. I need y'all to, we got big families in the Philippines, y'all here, here in the States too. Tell all the aunties and uncles, tell them, and we all got multiple TVs in every room. And if it's connected in it, cause everything has like, you know, it's all digital now. We got like YouTube. Your phone like, got another count as another view. Your what? iPad count as another yes. view. You see, you could simultaneously run all the screens and run miscellaneous brown all the way through and we go viral. But here, here, this is being real, okay? Um, I opened the special with 15 to 20 minutes of really new material that I had just worked on like the month before. And it was all about um, my confrontation with Tagalog Kurt. <laughs> and, and, and so basically, I, I, my, whole, my only wish for Miscellaneous Brown and my first comedy special is to be as successful as a white dude who can speak Tagalog. Bro. That that whole <laughs> piece right there, when I watched it, hit me on so many levels because I I think that's something that we as, as uh you know Filipino, Filipino American podcasters, you know, trying to create content out here, um, we would get that same love. It that hit deeply. <laughs> and so Bro, that's part of why I did because you know confrontation always works on the internet, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, I try to frame it in such a way where I didn't even say his name and I didn't want to say his name, not in my special. I'll say it on stage, you know, at, a, at the, you know, at the clubs and stuff to, to crack on him. But at the same time, it is, you know, as a Filipino creator online, I'm a little, I get, there's a little anger when it comes to that stuff because it, you know, I mean, when you're talking about culture vulture, that's, I mean, that's literally the definition of it, you know? And then he, it, when you slide into my DMs, I mean, the last thing you want to do is slide into my DMs, bro. No, I'm a he did. Yeah. No, he didn't. Yeah. Well, I, have, I have screen caps to, to prove it, homie. Like he slid into my DMs and tried to follow me. And I'm like, bro, don't follow me. Don't steal Joe Coy's jokes. You're already doing it. You got the rice joke on there already. You're trying to steal all, all the Joe Coy's jokes. I, 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 next, next thing I know, next week you'll have an Ewok joke. No, I'm, I'm cool. I ain't trying to have you steal my jokes. Mm. So I didn't want him to follow me. In fact, I blocked him from following me. And then he blocked me. And then, uh, and then, and, and then reported me and had a whole bunch of stuff and had my videos taken down. Cause, cause you know, when you hit, hit, when somebody who has a lot of followers, they, they have a little bit more pull on the app. So, you know, it's all good though. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, it gave me motivation for the beginning of my special. And I think, like you said, I think it hit a chord with a lot of people. And I think that was my goal is to, you know, touch a few nerves in the Filipino American community. And, and sometimes we need that kick in the ass a little bit. And uh, I, my hope is we'll all form like Voltron behind you. I'm with you. I hope you already <laughs> know that that uh, you try to come. We got each other's back. Don't don't play with us. Don't play with I, us. So I, I love it. That that bro. I mean, seriously. Every time we've done a podcast, every time we interact, I always just I, I love it because we have such a. We have such a same vibe. Look at, look at, look at, look at our backgrounds. <laughs> I mean, straight up, look at, look at our, our houses. I mean, we're, we're so similar. We had we, baseball caps wearing the same, you know, I mean, we're just the same brother brothers and, and it, and it's, it, 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 it makes me feel good that I can, uh, you know, you're, you're in Washington, DC, I'm in Burbank, California, and we can connect and we can talk and you can watch my special and connect with my comedy and across the country, it, 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 it works. So I'm, I'm just, I'm I'm happy to be here, brother. And I'm, I'm I'm it'll always be a pleasure to be with you, bro. My honor, my honor, mad love to you, brother. Mad love to you. Um, all right. So uh I got a lot of comedian friends like yourself. Um mm -hmm. and uh as a comedian, when you put together a special, you know, it's kind of like in a way, sometimes closing a chapter because you want to like then move on to some other material, right? Mm -hmm. Like yep. I'm, I'm a big fan of Tiger Belly, Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee has never like really done a special, and that's something that if you're a fan of his podcast, they always talk about. Man, whenever you're gonna drop a special, whenever you're gonna drop a special, um, and he just hasn't. And so I'm curious for you. you know, so you you got the the company reaching out. We're gonna go to Chicago. We're gonna record this. Um, when I watched it, I, I was curious. You know, was that like in the fourth out of your head you said you started with the first uh 20 minutes like some new material but like deciding what material you wanted to use i'm curious in like uh from a producer concepts creative concept for you what you're willing to share because you also want to keep stuff if you're not wanting to retire shit keep stuff fresh for the road and other projects 
uh, if you could talk about that uh, to also assist other comedian cats out here as well that are thinking about the, these things. It's something I think is very important for, for the comedian community uh, and just, you know, as, as a creative. Sure, man. No, I, I think I, I, I was talking about this with my friend in New York when I was, cause I was just in New York performing and uh, she had just seen the special and, and we were talking about it. And I have to say that it's really, I don't want to do a lot of specials. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to have, you know, I'm not, I'm not Dave Chappelle. That's not me. I'm not, I'm not a special, special, special. I don't, I don't want to have so many specials. I, I, I'm i like a, a, a like I, I wrote the way I started doing stand up comedy was doing my one man show, a fight club for one, which I just did in New York. And I'm still doing, you know, and I'm, and it's, and I'm still writing it. So that's a story. A fight club for one could be a special if I really wanted it to be. Um, but miscellaneous Brown was kind of my, my hero is Eddie Murphy and homie only did two specials and then right. he went on to do movies and whatever else he wanted to do. Right. So that's kind of my goal. I don't want to do a lot of specials. I want to do one, two, maybe three. And I have them all planned out already. Cool. Um, miscellaneous Brown was the first and I have another one coming. I have another one whenever I have an opportunity to film it and I'm, and, and you know, location, you know, opportunity, yeah. venue, all that stuff. And depending on how, you know, where I am in my career and, and and if 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 I even need to, because the whole reason I do stand-up comedy really is to hopefully bring back my first love, which is acting. And mm. it, so that people, you know, I, if I can command the stage just by myself, imagine what I can do with you and your ensemble when you put me back, you know, put me back in a, in a, in a movie on a set or a, you know, on a, on a TV show. That's, that's where I want to be. That's, that's the ultimate goal. So yeah, man. I, I mean, but as far as formulating a special for me, this first special, it was really about what I wanted to say at the beginning, you know, that message that I had about being miscellaneous Brown, being Filipino, how hard it is being Filipino to the point where it's even hard because you got white dudes speaking Tagalog, Right. That's where I wanted to start it off. And then again, get in, bring it into back into my journey and back into like my more familiar material so that I went from like starting off with a, a little bit more nerve wracking material, a little bit more fresh material that might be, will this work? Will it not? You know, once I know if this works, then I know the, sh the stuff that I got planned here. I've been doing this stuff. It's worked, you know? Yeah. So you kind of got to, if you're doing an hour, you kind of got to mix it. You got to mix it new and old, old material so that you can get that whole hour of stuff. Like I, I, I like if, if you want to break it down, I had, I started with new old and then ended with new. Yeah. And I feel like I, I've, I've never, I don't know that I'll, my goal will, for, from now on every other performance is chasing that last performance, that special performance. Cause that was the best show of stand up I'd ever done in my life. For wow. sure, I know that for for certain. Um, but you know, now now it's try to improve upon that and figure out how to make it even that even better. Yeah, because raw, I think was raw was almost as good as delirious, but delirious was for me. Delirious will always be the best and will always be the classic, and that's what I was chasing when I was doing miscellaneous brown and writing and putting it together. You know, get you get you find find a special that you really like. Or you're one of your heroes, one of your mentors, and then, you know, watch. Eddie Murphy talks about his dad and his uncle. So do I. Love it. I'm I'm not saying they were the same jokes or anything else, but the themes were the same. The you know the 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 the, the characters and the way that I jump in and out of characters, I hope is similar. And that's I'm just chasing Eddie. That's really all I'm doing. Got you. Nah, man, I. I love it. I I, I agree. I, and I can completely understand. There's certain cats that that's their thing to do special after special, after special, whatever. Um, but sure. then yet at certain, but you know, uh, not everyone's built the same, you know what I'm saying? So um, also, man, I'm, I'm going to be 49 in like a month. I'm wow. going to be 50 years old soon. And I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to go on the road. You know, yeah. my girls are going to be my, I have a 13 year old and an eight year old. I'm not trying to, you know, be on the road all, all the time. I want to, I want to be, with them i want to i want to spend time with them 
and or let's move to Toronto and be on the TV set. I'll give you know, what, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to spend time with my family. I don't want to, I'm not trying to be on the road all the time. Like I was just on the road to New York and spent half of my weekend in a Tennessee airport. Mm. Cause the, the flight was delayed and then spend the other half on planes going up and down, picking up people, staying on the, bro, it it's traveling is tough uh, and yeah. road work is tough. So I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm getting old. I ain't trying to do that all the time. <laughs> I'm just being real respect. Nah, completely understand. And I'm with you on that. Um, nah, but congrats, man. Cause, uh, I, yeah, we, we, I'm sure you've had these same conversations with everybody, uh, with everybody, you know, once it was getting planned up post, you know, like how and, and why and how you want to do things. It's always a, a, a part of that game, especially as comedians, because it's live comedy and putting things on wax and what you want to do and what not to do. And um, I, I, I think um, I, 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 I had a fun time with it. And it, for as a fan, it's something that, you know. I don't have to look for a bunch of clips on Eric Esteban now. I can now show, hey, bro, this is a special. Check out my homie. It's like a portfolio, if you will, like as an artist, right? Yeah, no, for real. Yeah. Like, bam, there you go. Now put him on your joint or whatever because he wants to do more acting, like you said. So, you know, it's like you can refer to it a little bit better than kind of like seeking out, you know, YouTube clips, if you will. So um, congrats, bro, again. And, and uh, you know, every comedian you, you, that's out there, I'm sure, you know, has to make that choice and whether that's something they want to do or if they, their their movement is a, is in a different way. We can all be different, y'all. And, and I love Yo, it. I and mean, that's the yeah. thing, man. It, I, I don't I don't know that you necessarily. It, is it a comp? Is it an accomplishment? Of course. Is it is it something to be proud of? Of course. Am I proud of it? Of course. I'm I, I, I like I said, man, every. Every time I think about it, I'm like, damn, I really did that. And and I really, you know, I really got a standing ovation at the end. And I really, you know, ended it the way that Eddie did, where he thanked somebody, you know, that from his career and that inspired him. And like, like I, I all the things that I wanted to do with it, I did. You know what I'm saying? Like up to and including the Puta and, 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 the, and the DJ Khaled song and including that at the tops and bottoms, like, Everything went perfectly. Oh. So for me, I don't, I, it was weird because I almost had to take time off from pro, from producing and, and everything else afterwards. It, in waiting for it to come out, I was just like, I was so, I was just like, you know what? I just, I can't think about, I want, just want to take a break. And and I did, I, I got a strike survival job that I'm just about to get laid off. <laughs> at the end of this month so it times out perfectly because i'd really want to just go back on tour and go back back on the road in october and probably till christmas um i know i'm going to be in I'm, I'm going to be in new york with model majority performing with them probably doing stand-up and sketch comedy in new york uh at the end of the month towards halloween for their four-year anniversary and then uh doing a lot of shows in la and you know again promote and oh and uh four by three is throwing me a birthday bash here in oh, la whoa. On the 29th of September, uh, we're doing that at the third wheel. Uh, Mitch Narito, Mikey Mikey of the World, Mikey Perry uh, from Mike Drop, and then uh, my girl Kalia McNeil, who just had her special Smam, and that's on Tubi and Amazon Prime, and she's like a headliner, and she's blowing up. Um, and she's going to be performing on my birthday with me. So I got a whole bunch of my, my homies performing at the third wheel with me on my birthday on the 29th here in L.A. So if you're in L.A., just you know, hit me up on Instagram, and I can I get you free tickets, and you can come and celebrate my birthday with me. Maybe you could hang out and you know partake of my homegrown. <laughs> yeah, I love it. That's um, something we have. We'll, we'll talk about that on some other podcast. But bro, that's <laughs> that's a podcast I'm starting up. You know, hey, my, what? my 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 Fox, my Filipino American Cannabis Society, and, and 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 our growing and our growing uh, habits. Hey, that's going to be probably the first thing we're going to do when I head out that way and we link up. Oh, bro, we gotta got to spark you. it as soon as we 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 link up, bro. Oh, and 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 <laughs> it'll be it'll be from my own garden. Like, hey, I said, like I said, for real. Hello? Like I already had my first harvest uh, just recently, and then uh, I'm 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 inspired because also like I'm I'm on YouTube. It's the same. I'm I'm the same as you, dog. Like I, I I'm tired of seeing cats who don't look like me making videos of things that I feel like I could do too. So I think I feel like um 2024 is going to be the year of uh um you know Kuya grows. 
That's and cool. uh, we're gonna we're gonna be doing some we're doing doing some uh, cannabis growing and techniques and different things on on online and what we, what we can get away with because right now they're still kind of funky about showing plants online but we'll see what happens now that they're changing the scheduling of this of my 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 favorite plant we'll see what happens okay but, let me put that energy into the air I got connects over at the 420 Expo bro that bro. you know that also put on Exotica the adult show but they do they know hey, the 420 I'm Expo down for both of Atlantic them. City right I am down for both of it. <laughs> I, I can I'm holla. Not, we can make that happen. Let's I'm saying happen. because like I really, I really do think that there's a I I don't there isn't a bad boy of Filipino comedy yet. You know, I, I want I want to be that that you know that little devil on your shoulder to tell you to do all the bad <laughs> shit. That's what that, <laughs> that's my goal with comedy. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to be I want to be the mischievous guy. I want to I want to be the Loki of comedy of Filipino comedy. You know, like Rex Navarrete, the one interaction I had with him when I opened for him at the Ford, he 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 gave me the advice of being dangerous. He said, just be dangerous. And that's, you know, if there's one thing that I'll take from Rex with me for my whole life is just to be dangerous. And that's true. Yeah. I'm just, just you, you got to kind of walk the line, you know, like I, I even on my special, I, 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 I think. You know, there's some. I, I mention people, and I talk about people, and I and I and I and not 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 to say that I, I'm calling anybody out or doing anything. Like, mm -hmm. like I mentioned to my mom, that that's a real joke. That's not fake. That that was real. When I told my mom about my special and about the the, you know, the event, she was like, "Will Jokoy be there?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I think that's that, everybody. That, that's hey, you gonna be a film, Jokoy? That's truth in comedy. That's real. Like, mom really said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And thinking about it, yeah, we really don't have anybody that gets a little dangerous with it. You know, Joe Coy's still trying no. to, you know, he's he, trying to be no, universal. Everybody everybody's safe. Everybody's, yeah. everybody's safe. Yeah. I'm not oh. trying to be safe anymore. Let's go. Why? I'm too old. I'm too old to be safe. And and if you don't like it, you don't have to watch. You know, if it offends you, then cool. Peace. Don't don't watch it. And if you yeah. want to comment and talk shit, go ahead. I don't care. I'm just gonna ignore it. Because, but you know what? Please do comment because it helps with the algorithm. I'm right. down with haters. That. Please tell me how you please, please tell please. me how much you hate me in the comments. Tell me how much I'm not funny. Tell me how much you know whoever's better looking or whatever else. Please talk shit in the comments. It helps with the algorithm. And when you swear, it brings it even more because then they think it's a confrontation. Do it. Swear at me. Insult me. Do whatever the fuck you want. I don't give a shit because I ain't gonna read it anyway. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> um. One of the things I, I wanted to uh, also kind of bring up, man, which I love to see it because I know your Chi Town's finest is the fact that it was shot in Chi Town. Like, Ugh. so the production company you said was like Ohio or something. The the the, mm -hmm. the decision to make it happen and getting that all set up and maybe you know and bringing your peeps, your your, 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 your the fam to come out. How beautiful was that? Well, I'll say that was really the dream come true because. When I say in the beginning of the special, uh, Chicago Filipinos make some noise and the, the the cacophony of noise that comes from that question, I've never experienced that in Chicago. And I was on stage for the Jeff nominated Magna Rubio. You know, I, I was on, you know, I'm on stage for a bunch of Filipino events and stuff in, in Chicago. And that it, it was never there's there was like titas in the front row. You know what I mean? Like and, and it was a trip. It was a trip to me, but it was also like, I think long overdue and also really, I mean, it, at the end of the day, it really is like a, like Chicago, Filipino American history. And, and, and that's me being humble. I, I'm happy to be just a small part of it that I could be part of the first, you know, all Filipino lineup at the Lincoln Lodge. I could be part of, you know, a, a sold out show and, and the first Filipino American to film his special in Chicago and film it at the Lincoln Lodge and you know the whole thing. I, I I'm I'm excited about that. I'm excited. I'll, I'll, I'll whenever you have an opportunity to make actual history of shit that's never been done before. I mean that's I I, I don't know what else you can do if you want to talk about legacy and leaving stuff behind for your kids and stuff for your stories that they can tell. I mean I I don't know what else I could do really. So I mean that's. I, I go, I got, I go out to impress myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and and the, I've I've never really like fully impressed myself until 
<laughs> this I was like, wow, damn. Yeah, I, I did that shit. That's cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. So bro. please watch it. Please watch it. Please. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, brush them shoulders off, bro. Congratulations. Flowers are well deserved, bro. Um, just was happy to see that. Happy that you were able to do it in your hometown, man. That you, you love it, man. You love to shout, see that. Shout out to Chicago, because man, so much love to the Chicago Filipinos who came out and filled that house up and filled that place up with laughter. And then, like I said, stood up at, at the end of it and you know, you know, almost made this little bitch cry for real because it was just so much, so much love and so much support. It was it, and then and and like my hats and t-shirts, pins, they all the merch they bought all the merch you know and then the last time I was in san diego same thing it just like i'm touched every single time somebody approaches me after a show and buys merch or even just comes up and shakes my hand and says what a good job i did or you know thank you for making me laugh whatever it is it, I, it every single gesture is in incredible and, and and every single view i appreciate every single view every time any, anybody watches the show I, I appreciate it Hell yeah. So I'm going to remind everybody again as we get ready to close it out. I wish I had more time with my brother, uh, but we're nah, going to have you good, back. man. We'll, we'll, we'll come back next time. It's all good. We're going to make that happen. So let me again remind everybody, I'm going to have all the links in the description below. Go watch Miscellaneous Brown right after you're done with this or pause this, go watch it and then, you know, click on the links to his Come merch back, watch this yeah. again, then watch that again. Watch both of it on repeat so both these videos go viral. That's what hey, I'm saying. Hey, please. <laughs> show Let's both do of it. us love. Yeah. But I, I definitely want to show love to my brother, Eric Esteban, man. He's just an hey, amazing brother, Thank cat. you so much. Real I love cool you, bro. Cat. Thank you so much. Love you too, bro. Just, just, it's just everything is about, man. Uh, I've missed you, man. Uh, I, I want to check in to, to find out what else is going on with you. Um, I know you said you watched One Piece. Y'all, he's watching One Piece. You anime heads. Talk to him about do One a Piece. One Piece breakdown, man. I'm down to do that. I, I've been, <laughs> I, I, I straight up have watched what episodes one through eight five times through at least. I'm guessing at least. I, I'm working overnights at a, at a damn condo. I'm watching them overnight over and over and over again, man. I love that show, One Piece. Love it. Maybe some One I'm Piece serious. jokes coming it. up in the routine, maybe? Uh, there might be some One Piece <laughs> jokes. Also, just saw Blackpink uh, in concert. Okay. So there are definitely some Blackpink jokes and some Pink Hammer jokes. All because right. some dude got all rough with me. And I'm like, bro, you got a Pink Hammer in your hand. You ain't going to do nothing to me. I saw Wu-Tang in concert. <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, these... I, <laughs> so notice that there's, there's, I, I, I'm i working on new material, but also, you know, I was... Some of that new material from the special is still new. So I still got to, there's stuff to mine there. There's so much yeah. stuff. There's so much stuff. So I, I'm excited about all of it, man. I'm excited about all of it. All right, everybody. Again, check out the links below. Uh, your schedule's up there and everything. Yeah, uh, no, I got, I got you. I will, well, I'll, I'll, I'll link up everything, but uh, yeah, just watch the special. Watch the okay. special. And if you see me in your town, come see me, come see me live and say, what's up? Y'all show my man, Eric Esteban, some love. Uh, go check out Miscellaneous Brown. Uh, when he comes to your town, hit him up. I know I will be hitting him up whenever I'm in your way. Bro, you know we're going to spark it. Um, man, always, always a pleasure, brother. Always, a pleasure. always, a, always, always a pleasure, brother. Thank you so much. Most definitely. Everybody, check out my man Eric Esteban. Uh, throw them links out for these cats that are driving. Uh, that can remember shit. They got better memories than us. Uh, the handle. Well, you can the follow me. Handle. Follow me on Instagram, Eric Esteban Comedy, and at Miscellaneous Brown for the special. Make that special blow up too on in Instagram. So yeah, follow, follow me, follow me. Thank you so much. Of course, y'all, Eric Esteban, your boy Kui P. Uh, this has been another show, pal. Show, and I we, we say at the end, man, mahakita, salamat. All right, brother. There's a cut. <laughs>